So I get a lot of requests asking me how I take fleeting notes with Obsidian. And today I wanted to go through how I do that, plus how to set that up for yourself. Over here, you see on the right hand side, I have the fleeting notes sidebar. What happens once I have everything set up, I can take a note like hello world over here, and then maybe like another note over here. And we'll see right away within my daily notes, these notes will just start to populate. And these are basically the notes that I've taken. So that's this first head over here. And the more notes I take, the more notes that will populate. And that's it. So over here in the next section, you say tasks from fleeting notes. Sometimes I want to be able to quickly write down a task within fleeting notes. And the way I accomplish that is by typing out a task within fleeting notes. And then task across multiple days will show up under this header over here. For this particular header, you'll see that it only limits the fleeting notes based on the current date. Whereas for tasks, it'll actually just limit it by whether or not it's completed. So let me just show that in action. I'm gonna add a task over here or a to-do, just call it EF. And yeah, right there, you'll see that it automatically populates right there. And what I'm gonna do is if I click this, if I like check off the task, we can see that it'll automatically update within fleeting notes. So I'm going to close that, open it over here again. And there we go. You see that the task has been checked off. So what's great about this plugin is that it keeps like a real time two way sync between what's happening in Obsidian and fleeting notes. And you'll see over here, here's my last section. And that's where all like my other notes that aren't fleeting notes go into. And then maybe I would organize things with like headers and stuff like that. There's actually a whole nother video with how I manage my notes with daily notes. And I'll let you go watch that video if you're interested. Anyways, let's get straight into how to set it up. So over here, I'm going to create a new vault and I'm going to call it test vault. Okay, so I'm going to create a new vault over here and we're just going to both start from scratch and set this up for you. But we're going to follow these instructions. So we're going to set up Obsidian Sync with fleeting notes. You can go more in depth into those instructions, but for me, I'm just going to quickly go through that. So I'm going to install the fleeting notes sync plugin. All right. And then enable that. All right. Awesome. So set that up. I'm going to go install a data view plugin over here. So wait, first of all, I'm going to sign in. Yeah. Do my encryption and Sync notes automatically. Set this as real time sync. I'm going to auto generate the note titles. And there we go. So we have that. Okay. And let's just run the sync command one time. Awesome. And there are all my notes synced there. And now I will go follow the instructions and install the Obsidian Data View plugin. Okay. So install that. Okay. Enable. Awesome. So I've enabled that plugin. The next step is enable daily notes plugin in the Obsidian settings. So I go over here. So this is a core plugin. I think it's already enabled by default. So I'm going to create the template file over here. Copy this template and paste it in. Oh, I got to get rid of those. Cool. Okay. So I have the template over here. And then now I'm going to set the daily note location and set the template as daily note template. Awesome. So I have everything ready. And now for the final step, I will run the daily note command and open the current daily note. And voila, there we go. Everything's set up. So basically it only uses the data view plugin and the original daily note. This is highly adaptable. You can actually go into the data view documentation and adjust these queries to whatever fits you. 